Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 8 Planes. In this flight I'm going to be flying from Sion to Milan across the Alps, hopefully passing by the Matterhorn. And we are going to be flying... that truck is really close. Um, we're going to be flying a Pilatus PC-6T. This is a Swiss plane, so it is appropri appropriate for the setting. Though Yeti Airlines, I don't know, well, close enough. Uh, it is a boxy sort of plane, but it is a short takeoff or landing uh, plane that is very well suited to bush flying and the kind of flight that we're going to be making. It can be, this is a freeware plane and it can be fitted with skis and additional tanks. I left off the skis for this particular flight because I'm planning to land in an airfield in Milan anyway. It's a fairly short flight. Uh, let's get to it. We're continuing to listen to the Apollo 12 audio and unfortunately I'm in a phase of my uh, my flight plan, the 80 flight plan, that uh, we're gonna be making fairly short hops around Europe because I want to see sights and that's not the greatest thing for this particular phase in the Apollo 12 audio because they're preparing for the landing and that's probably better taken in a big chunk rather than all these little chunks. So. They're still preparing, and let me press play. And let's get started here. I don't know why it started me on the ramp instead of on the runway, but it's a short... That that truck had issues. We're only off by 0.82 seconds. That's not bad. Monica, another check. 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 Don't want to hit any of the trucks. This is a very maneuverable plane. I mean, it looks boxy. It's not the most beautiful plane ever, okay, especially that vertical time. stabilizer. Okay. But boy, is it great to fly. <laughs> it is a very smooth plane to fly. Ground handling is very nimble too. Okay, I got two one seven two. Very close. That's good enough. Okay. Now. Uh Give me your DFM, please. Okay, let me turn the camera first. All right, look at that view. I I was I've decided to do real world weather, but extend the visibility, so we've got extra visibility. All right. One three seven four four. Okay, four ball four one four seven one six one three seven. When it says short takeoff, it means it. We're also a little bit lighter. I didn't pack a full load of fuel or anything. Hello, uh, Houston. How do you read it? Trap it. Are you ready for the e memory dump? It's got a Nepal flag there and a Swiss flag on the tail. I mean, Yeti, of course, is more associated with uh, the Himalayas. Run its way. We are flying in the wrong direction. Roger, Pete. We're gonna go straight above the mountains. Okay, this thing can climb on, like uh, anything. Ready for to go to mid dead band attitude hold and give me a steady gimbal angle. Did you copy, uh, Yankee Clipper? Okay, Pete, uh... So this is talking with the command module now. Pete, Conrad talking with, uh, Dick Gordon. I don't know about whether the 
text on the wing is supposed to be stretched like that. I guess it must be. Everything else looks okay. Roger, Pete. We're working. Interior is fairly plain, but again, freeware and functional, and you know, a useful plane to have. I don't like the distance look, the way it's rendering the landscape in the distance. I might be tempted to... I wonder why we've got this little bit on the left wing only. But anyway, um, might be tempted to still extend the view distance even more. Yankee, Clipper, Intrepid, you no longer have to hold your attitude, tight deadband. Okay, Pete, and I'm ready for uh, Verbo 6 now, 20 anytime. So this plane, uh, they only s recently stopped producing them this year, 2019. Uh, its first okay, flight Yankee, was not a turbo Let's version, it was in 1959. Four, three, so 60 years two, of production. One, mark. They introduced a turbo right, version Yankee, only two Clipper. years in though, Clipper, so Houston, pretty quickly. R1 reach plus two, three, nine, six, seven. R2 plus 27154. R3 plus 35917. Over. Roger, Yankee Clipper, go ahead, Intrepid. Roger, plus zero five. The way nine, distance landscape nine, was handled nine, might have been plus, managed by zero, X Vision. Nine, one, which is one, why we didn't see eight, this sort of thing earlier one, when X Vision was zero, working. Zero, zero, five. Eight. Uh, Roger, what's your GET? 104 4510. Roger, copy. 104 Still good on speed. Yankee Clipper plus 239er 67 plus 27154 plus 359er 17. Intrepid plus zero five niner 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 plus zero niner one one eight plus zero 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 five eight. Want to That's stay below the clouds, here. obviously. And, well, that uh, changed a lot <laughs> suddenly. Oh, uh, yeah. Step let's. One, uh, through seven there on Act Thirty and Thirty One, and all the flags are set. Roger. They're very happy. Well. Not quite bush flying, but close. Wonder if I should. Nope, that doesn't help anything. Okay. Just wondering if there ought to be more trees on here. Guess not. First and intrepid, uh, ED bat voltage is 37.5 for both bat A and bat B. Uh, Roger, Intrepid. Last time I made this flight, uh, Matterhorn was not distinctive from a distance, but once you approached it, it was pretty darn clear. I trust it'll be the same. Hey, Houston, you got any objections if I blow the gear down? Uh, negative, Intrepid, go ahead. Okay, let's deploy the gear. Oh, they're deploying the landing gear. That's a good start. So, what do we have here? Lac de Moiri. Moiri. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, M O I R Y is this lake. Looks good down here, Pete. And it flows 
from a glacier of the same name, which I recall following up the last time I made this flight. Okay, Houston, the gear is down and locked. Roger, 12. I think some clouds got baked into the photo scenery. Let's see if we can do it like the Sims and get yeah. me back up my IMU final line. Uh, Roger. So there's the glacier feeding that lake. Up this oh, line. those clouds, Roger, though. 12. I hope they don't ruin our view. Well, they're doing a pretty good job of it Enter right now. Houston with your gyro torque angles. Again, some clouds are beneficial for the scenery, of course. Uh, Roger, Houston, made a copy. Create a Roger, mystique. Outer, minus zero, but, uh, not zero, too many. Two, five, That's too many. Zero. That's too many right there. Inner, minus zero, zero, three, six, zero. Middle, plus zero, zero, Gosh darn it. zero, five, zero. Okay, that was... X minus zero zero two five zero Y minus zero zero three six zero Z plus zero 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 five zero. That's affirmative, Pete. I swear, if it messes up our view around the Matterhorn, I'm gonna lift this cloud layer up. Oh gosh. Uh, let me try and get above them. Going down is probably not safe. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that peak looks likely, doesn't it? Uh. Alright, Houston. How long to LOS? Okay, we're and we're here to see Houston, things. LOS I'm going to. 20. I'm going to interfere. Okay. They're just at the level uh, where where they'll mess up if you want our view, which I oppose. Uh, Intrepid Houston, they won't and, uh, help us much, but we'll take them. Give them a lift. I think clearing okay, them from fourteen thousand feet should do. Have you uh, got a adapter? There, that's better. And, and that's the Matterhorn, all right. Intrepid Houston, those are in work. Shame we didn't get a full approach view of it, thanks to those clouds, but... And then there's this little town Roger, called Zermatt. Uh, Zermatt. That'll be to our Roger, Pete, left. I got your lemon CFM for you when in the midst of all this. And probably uh, is basically built around the tourism board matter. Go ahead. Roger, Lem Wait, three, three, seven, three. You can zero. see the town to our left there. Three, six, seven. In that little eight, valley. Six, over. That's a heck of a place to be. Okay, Lem Wait, three, three, seven, three, zero, three, six, I haven't seven, done any eight, skiing six. of oh, any kind eight. at all. Come to think of it, I don't even know if I've personally, you know, stood on a surface more than 5,000 feet above sea level. I don't think so. Well, that is uh, one of those Can't distinctive mountains. Roger. 
best to see from a little bit of a distance. But yeah, there's Zermatt there. Houston Intrepid. Intrepid Houston, go. Roger, the drogue is in, the probe is in, and our hatch is closed, and we're over on uh, his Okay, we need to turn back Roger. towards Milan. Look at this place. Crazy place. <laughs> Crazy beautiful, of course. Houston, you're one minute from LOS, and uh, just a reminder, don't do a verb 47 on the backside, uh, or you'll be integrated. I don't like the stuff in the distance, though. I don't know why it's rendering like that. Hmm. It, I, I swear it didn't uh, used to before this update. Of course, is back in, and uh, I'm impressed with everything that doesn't need misfit. The distance rendering used Roger. to be so seem much over. better. Uh, do I want to mess with things? These are my settings. Honestly, there isn't a whole lot to change. <laughs> oh well. I'll have to read some articles on what changes they made and maybe try and figure out how to get X-Vision updated properly. Though even without X Vision, it wasn't this doing this control. before. We've had loss of signal with both vehicles. As uh, the Apollo 12 spacecraft went over the hill, midway through the 11th revolution, the crew had uh, gained some time on the uh, flight plan timeline. They lowered the landing gear about an hour ahead of time. Uh, Verified the uh, drogue and probe were in place and went on the LIM environmental control system almost an hour early. Some other numbers that are being generated now for the night's activity. These numbers are likely to change somewhat. Undocking uh, 108, 2442. Decent orbit insertion. 109.23.38 Power descent initiation 110 hours 20 minutes 35 seconds The power descent initiation will be the is final nice looking. phase from 8 nautical miles altitude and some This area at least doesn't have any weird scenes in it, so that's good Nice and continuous so high gate of 7,000 feet will come at about 8 minutes 30 seconds after ignition of good quality stuff PDI maneuver and low gate at about 100 feet some 10 minutes 54 seconds except the clouds With baked into this area here time of it's all right just sort of looks like snow seconds. but those are definitely clouds on the scenery oh well coordinates uh, that have been fed into the we'll look this way computer for the uh, surveyor site. As soon as the uh, commentator locates his notes. <laughs> as soon as the commentator locates his notes. 23.4031 west longitude. have some 43 minutes 30 seconds remaining until acquisition of signal on the 12th revolution as Yankee Clipper and Intrepid come around front side again 
And at 105 hours, two minutes. Yeah, we're getting elapsed close time. to the red line. This I'll back off. Control. We have to descend anyway. This is master caution. I don't know what it's about. Maybe because of the speed. I don't know. But we're basically heading down pretty steeply into Milan. Lots of clouds on the terrain here. We are now in Italy. This is Apollo Control, 105 hours 45 minutes, ground elapsed time. So 40 seconds away from acquisition of both vehicles as they come around the corner on the 12th revolution. During this pass, um, there will be uh, Quite a few activities related to preparing the lunar module Intrepid for the landing early tomorrow morning. And that uh, during the last revolution, the uh, crew of the Intrepid had gained quite a bit of time on the flight plan and doing a lot of these chores. Among the items to be passed up to the crew will be the so-called pads for the maneuvers, times... More pads time, for so more on. maneuvers. Delta V's. Endless pads. Pad acquisition signal on both vehicles. We're standing by for that first call. For Houston, over. Clipper here. Roger, Clipper, give us two and accept and we'll start your state vector up. On a 621. A nice little valley okay, here. Fine. Hey, you ready? Yes, sir. On my mark. Five, it's along a highway four, called SP two nine nine. One, mark. Hey Houston, you ready to copy? Roger, go ahead. Hey Yankee Clipper, R1 reads two three nine six one. R2 reads two seven one eight six. R3 reads three five nine five two. Roger Clipper, go ahead, Intrepid. Roger, R1 read 0600809189 And the time was 105.4712. Roger at 105.4712, CSM plus 23961 plus 27186 plus 35952. Intrepid plus 06008 plus 09189 plus 00047. Clipper run. Uh, Intrepid, that's affirmative, and we're ready to go to Poo with data. Okay, we want to pump one up to Dick first. Okay, uh, All yours. pump one up to Dick. While you're doing that, I did the rate gyro check. I pressurized the RCS system. Pressurized okay. The helium pressures are 2,900 and 2,900. Roger, Intrepid. They're looking good. Okay, uh, you guys ready for the DAP set gimbal and throttle test? <laughs> Affirmative. Go ahead. Sounds like uh, B. Conrad is trying to push them along here. Okay, I'll be coming to you in a minute. like he's trying to get down to the surface one orbit early or something. Yankee Clipper and Intrepid, I have your uh, undock and SEP attitudes if you're ready. Time. Okay, we're ready to copy. Roger, undock time, one zero seven five four zero zero. Your attitude is roll, 180, 
pitch, 288, yaw zero. Separation, 108-2442, over. Copy. Copy. So. Copy. Copy. 107-5400-108-2442. And the attitudes were 180288 and zero. Stay firm. Uh, landscape not looking and all that great is, around here. Uh, now 48, and it's reads plus 00504, plus 00576. Go on the verb 34 enter. Roger, Pete. So, perhaps it'd look a little bit better if we weren't so close to it, of course. Clipper Houston, I have a Rev 13 map update if you're ready. Okay, Houston, go. Roger, LOS 1065833 Clipper copy. Clipper Houston, we're through with your computer. Yeah, uh, Intrepid, uh, if you've got poo and data, we're ready to roll. Okay, and how does the GDA position look? GDA is go, we're ready for throttle. Commander, soft stop. Roger, confirm. And that's uh, uh, Commander's full throttle. Roger, confirm it. And Trump at Houston, you got pooing data? LMP's uh, soft stop. That's permanent. Uplink's on the way. Roger, that's a soft stop on the LMP. Roger, Al. Looks good. Here comes Max. Okay, going back to the end. And Trapid Houston, uh, we missed Max. Uh, I think we got mixed up in the time delay. Okay, at Max now. Okay, we copy Houston, Max now. Uh, I went through all the ag. Roger, I went through all the ag memory that you gave us last night on the update, and they all checked out uh, for the update. Roger. Okay, we uh, start to see the outskirts of Milan. Well, not really the outskirts, you know, the suburbs. Yeah, Trapid Houston, uh, full throttle looks good on LMP side. Here. Roger. Only at 4,000 feet now. Step ahead here and do our yes, check out if you want right now. Stand by a minute, Pete. We won't actually fly over the city of Milan this time because Say the airport again. is uh, to the west. Second, so we'll be landing at the airport, but we should get a pretty darn good look at Milan on the next flight because I'll be flying something even slower. <laughs> I'll be flying a Piper Cub. From Milan to Genoa. Intrepid Houston, uh, we're ready for that RCS when we finish the uplink. Now, on that flight, we'll definitely be passing over Milan. Okay. Dick, how much time do you have to have to maneuver? I should be uh, at the attitude by uh, 106.15 at the latest speed. Okay, I think I can do the whole hot fire. 
Okay, by me, let me know. Okay, we're passing by Borgo Monero. That's the town we seem to be passing over. Well, there's a lot of towns actually. Uh, Borgo Monero's down the way to the right. A little bit more dense. I don't know if we're seeing all the buildings down there. Uh, are you interfering with stuff? Well, no. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe Autogen just hasn't really uh, got stuff there. What do you want to maneuver, Yankee Clipper? Tell me what time you have to maneuver. Let's see, sir. A clear spot where it ought to be. Entropic hasn't generated sure. enough uh, Autogen. Okay. Coming at you with a TPCA cold fire. Roger. So our target airport is LIMC, which is right here, so pretty close, Milano Malpensa. And it's runways are north-south-ish. Hey, uh, Yankee Clipper, you read Intrepid? I'm gonna be firing here in a minute. Okay, I'll go to free when you want. Okay. Intrepid Houston, your TTCA coal fire look good. Coming at you with the number three step. Roger, Pete. There's a smaller airport uh, close by at the bottom. Well, actually, two airports. One. Is that all right? Two airports or just one and an associated field? Yeah, Trumpet, Houston, here, go. At the south end of this lake. Seems. Okay, going to step four. This is a fairly big lake. I just can't see the name of it right now. Okay, Yankee Clipper, CSMY, dead band at home, verify CMC mode free and tunnel vent But you can zero. see to the okay, left it goes now. quite a ways. I'll have to look it up sometime. But the map isn't making it clear right now. Copy, Pete. Roger, I copy. Okay, hey, I'm in free. Flex forward. Coming at uh, Houston. Roger, Intrepid. This seems like uh, another nice sort of place to be. Okay, you want to damp up, Yankee? Let it roll. Are you all through? Well, no, I got some more. Just minimum impulse, though. Hey, go ahead. Let it roll this way. Hey. City coming up is Sesto Calende. And I can't figure out exactly how to pronounce Italian. But Sesto, S-E-S-T-O. And then Calende, C-A-L-E-N-D-E. -E. Is this town right here? And we should be hanging our right here to get to the airport. Well, a little bit longer. Hmm. I'm surprised there's so much lag around here. Roger, Trevor. Well, that speeds things up, but makes it rather less scenic. That was pretty drastic, wasn't it? Well, we'll get a general sense. 
the buildings will pop in as we get closer. Have Not the best thing, good. but it is what it is. It looks good. Uh, break your eggs abort constants in the checklist are good. Over. Anyway, the airport's close by. I uh, understand, Houston. Hey, Pete, I'm going to continue the maneuver. I've got it. Okay, you got it, babe. We're uh, finished. Watch your antenna. I'm going to Omni D. Hello, is the Clipper on Omni D? Roger, Clipper. Well, let's see. What's the stall speed of this plane? Roger. Uh, 52 knots. The uh, tracking attitude. That's perfect. Yeah, I know. It can carry up to 10 passengers. It's only uh, one. 2.27 tons empty, 2.8 tons max takeoff weight. Yeah, well, time to get into the cockpit. Uh, field's sort of hazy, but we can see it. Let us know when you get your attitude, Dick. By flaps, yeah. Well, we can feel it. Well, that looks like the runway. Let's see about the whole short, t uh, short landing bit. Houston, Intrepid. Intrepid, Houston, go. Things are looking good enough. I expect to hear now 69 is zero. Roger, Pete. So do we. You want to go down to Rev early? Okay, Pete. Stand up. It's okay with me, pal. Here's a uh, 0620. I suppose now 69 would have said something about inaccuracies or something. All by Mark. Four, three, two, one. Mark. Roger, Houston, Clipper, R1, plus 00046, R2, 27021, R3, 4 balls, 8, over. Pretty good Roger, approach. Clipper, go ahead, Intrepid. Roger, R1, 2996, R2, 09015, R3, Three five nine eight zero. The time one oh six oh seven one nine. Roger at one oh. Don't like how the skies flickering. Clipper plus zero 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 four six plus two seven zero two one plus four zero eight. Intrepid plus two nine or nine or two six zero nine zero one five plus three five nine eight zero. That's affirmative. Oh. Okay. And uh, Houston, uh, we'll go to. Uh, oh, oh, it's turning to the right. Come on, come on. Uh, Get that tail down so that I can steer. Uh, tracking exercise. Whoa, 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 whoa! You were doing so well. You're doing so well. Stop spinning. Stop spinning. Uh, Stop spinning. With as long oh, as you can. that ruined it. That ruined it. Okay, I didn't press the brakes pull. either. It's just <laughs> We're still we rolling. I didn't even apply the brakes. You don't want to be quick to okay, apply the brakes with a tail dragger. That was weird. Did I like well, bust a tire or something? It would have told me. I don't know why I spun. I was trying to be very gentle about it. Oh well. I'm just gonna park off to the side here. We have arrived in Milan. Well, we're pretty far out from Milan, to be honest, just like all the international airports. Let me pause the audio. Just like all the international airports, it's a long ways from the city center. We'll see the actual city center on the next flight. 
so yep yeah, but we are here it was very scenic flight i hope you liked um the matterhorn and we will continue on next time so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time